Welcome, I'm Hawaiian Shirt Papa. Sometimes with others, I visit a variety of antique, vintage, and thrift shops within Southern Ontario. Sometimes we don't get anything. Come tour with me vicariously. Hi, join me, Hawaiian Shirt Papa, as we tour the Goodwill store on Glendale Avenue, which is across the street from the Penn Center in St. Catharines. Um, here we've seen a few of the purses. There's a, it's an interesting store. You walk in, and it looks kind of small. But then there's a, it opens up into another part, which looks pretty good for size. And then that opens up into an even bigger area. So it's very deceiving from the outside as to how large the store is. It's, uh, but, um, yeah, uh, the only issue I've got with Goodwills in general is that they put all the hard goods on top of the, the um, clothing. I understand why they do it, but it's, just, it, it, it's annoying to have to walk so much of the store to see all the hard goods that I'm looking for. Uh, suitcases and such on a regular basis. As you see, the hard goods are on top. This section is dinner sets. And we get more bowls and such. The ends have got different hard stuff this more different bowls and these really could just use the ones that are racks but they've got them spread over it stemware in this case and uh, we continue on and now we see this the the uh, that was where the joint from the old to the new the entrance area to the new area here we are just starting into the even wider area. It has the furniture. So the clothing continues all the way across the, the portion that was added to the front of the store. And then be, you go in part way through the clothing area and it expands even more. And that's where the furniture is located. The typical hard, hard things that they carry in all the thrift stores. This one's got a lot of stuff, I have to admit to that. Um, uh, connects, I remember those for our little ones at the time. The artwork goes around. Uh, it follows the walls in this, the part that's not at the front of the store. These are the children's wear. Lots of that. I will say there is a lot of children's clothing in this store. So if somebody's really looking for any, they're, they're in probably going to find what they're looking for. Uh, some of the children's soft, soft toys. The uh, hardware and oh, smaller appliances. We're getting into lights, vacuum cleaners, microwaves, all those types of things. They follow the outer part of the wall. The furniture is in the midst of the floor. And... Um, yeah, it makes, makes for a long walk, and it's not a bad walk. There's always something to see, so you're, you may not be looking at the clothing in that section, but you're looking at the shelf above. I understand why they do it that way, but... Uh, could make it quicker just to get through the store if uh, I didn't have to walk along every one of the clothing aisles, male or female. Some of the electronics, games, books. Now I saw this, looks like a uh, <clears throat> tall ship and it's made from, I think, um, cow horns or something of that nature. And I thought it really 
really took had a hard time deciding. I decided not to. Twenty five was is, is probably a good price, but it wasn't going to be something that would easily sell necessarily. I certainly didn't want it. I'm not into uh, sailing sailing ships of any sort. Um, yeah, we're here's the furniture and even some carpets. It's a good size area to look, to, the, uh, to look at those. And then there's the books along here. And the shoes, some clothing along there. These are uh, like shawls and such, and scarves. Ah, coming into the clothing section, that after having looked at all the hard goods, trying to orient myself there. Uh, ladies wear shoes, boots. Well, I'm not looking for ladies wear personally. So we're going to have to look at the hard goods that are on top. Stem where they kind of look like crystals, they're not. Picture frames, small statuary kind of things. There's some change rooms that are normally operating, but they're not at this time. Let's see, where are we headed? Ah, oh, yes, these. High likelihood these were uh, Portuguese manufacture, though it's not noted on there. It could be just about anywhere, but Portuguese ceramics do have a look of that nature. Not to say the Chinese don't make them as well. There's a difference in their quality between them. Oh, or it's a vase. Vase, yeah. It caught the magpie eye, but it wasn't quite what would be to our total interest. And I always take a look at these analog clocks. We've had some good luck with them over the years. Some of the really large, large, large ones were the ones that went the best for us. So I always take a look at the large clocks. Sometimes I get them, sometimes I don't. Now, most of the time, no, but occasionally there's a really good example that we do snap onto. Ladies, huh. must be looking at the upper portion. There's the entrance area to in front on the right. This is the first part we look into. And to the left is where it expands. Uh, we are looking for Hawaiian shirts here. And a colorful, but not a Hawaiian. Um, uh, nope. No luck on that. They're all so bland. It's easy to scan for them that way. Now back to the rack tops. We just take another look at those. making sure there aren't some in another aisle, some they got misplaced or the I chose the wrong aisle, but nope. Some dishes, oh, silver plate, I suspect if it's even that much. The sterling, that'd be another story, but these I believe are just silver plated. Always take a peek. 
sometimes we get surprised. The LPs are a very small section here, a bit of a disarray. Nice looking coats, but not looking for a coat that day. This was a really a uh, magpie eye caught this. They're just swim trunks or shorts. They're of, and another one which is kind of in the Hawaiian shirt style. A couple of others, and a third. So that was about it. Here we are. We are taking a closer look at those thing, those leather coats, and some more Hawaiian shirt inspired. Oh, okay, here we are. We're uh, hoping you'll subscribe and check the bell so that you'll get notified of the next video that's coming up. And I hope you enjoyed our tour of the St. Catherine's Goodwill store opposite the Penn Center, just off the 406. Thanks. Bye-bye.